Hi everyone, Arnold with Overland Explorer Vehicles. I'm sitting inside our brand new 2023 OEV High Country. The High Country is kind of a throwback to what actually got us started. Uh, the old Explorer X series or X10, 11 and 12 might be the ones that uh, might be a little more familiar to you. We went away from this product line only because the people that were buying the X10s, 11s and 12s we're never removing them from the flatbeds. So they were kind of, the way that we were building them at that time, <clears throat> they were kind of a pain to build and pain to service and also uh, would consume a lot of the storage space. So that's how the Summit was actually born as we went back and, and took, a look, took, took a look at everything and, and took everything into consideration in, in terms of what the owners were doing with them and, and not removing them. That's how we came up with the summit. But over the years, we've had a few people, quite a few people actually, uh, continuously email us, call us and asking us about the X10. So fast forward, here we are, it's 2023 and we brought it back. We've changed quite a few things. Um, the, if you all recall, uh, used to have a dinette on the, on the driver's side and there was a kitchen right where I'm sitting. And then there's a wet bath uh, further up on the driver's side. And then some storage on the passenger side from the front door to the, to the bedroom area. So I think what we've come up with now uh, offers quite a bit of storage alternatives. And it also takes checks all the boxes. Uh, we as a builder, what we need to do in terms of <clears throat> moving some weight around. Uh, and, and being able to actually uh, build and service this thing uh, easier without giving up the customer's creature comforts that they're going to be looking for in one of our products. So you'll see little elements of some other builds that we've done inside this one. So this particular one that we're sitting in, again, it's got some options. <clears throat> it's got the north-south queen bed. Uh, that is an option. Uh, with that north-south queen bed you get quite a bit of storage uh, on each side of the bed running north-south and you also get under bed storage. Um, there's an east-west configuration that, that'll aid in keeping the weight down as well and um, a few other things. This one's actually pretty loaded up. It's got the customer that ordered this one has uh, pretty much checked all of the option uh, buttons so I think he's gonna be, he and his wife are gonna be extremely happy with this one because I know it's you know when you're building these things you always find your new favorite well guilty it's our new favorite so uh, uh, we're really looking forward to getting the feedback from not only the owners uh, but from folks that are in the market for a hard wall removable camper but we've taken this one a little one more step further than just a removable uh, what was missing in our lineup was something of this size. This size here, it's it's nine and a half foot floor plan from the from the front wall uh, to the rear wall here. You're nine and a half feet. It's got a kick out to make up that nine and a half feet. Um, it sits on our Alumatray HD. We call it the HDX. Uh, it's it's purpose built just for this camper, and it's got a very unique mounting system. Um, it's fully isolated from the from the tray itself, from the flatbed. Uh, it's four bolts, one in each corner. And in other videos, on the outside videos, you'll see how that works. And then um, uh, the tray, of course, is fully isolated from the chassis. So it's a pretty interesting uh, concept. And with that, uh, because it is actually bolted to the chassis, even though it's removable, it's a, we refer to it as a uh, fixed removable, um, you can actually it, it opens up more doors for, for financing. You can actually finance the camper, the tray, and the chassis all in, up all into one uh, loan, one RV loan. So in the US, you can finance that over 20 years. Here in Canada, 16 years. So it's a, it's a pretty interesting concept uh, that we've addressed there. Now, the other very cool feature about this particular lineup is we wanted to have something that was also fixed, non-removable. Because with the, with the fixed removable, what you get, you'll see that there is a uh, one burner induction cooktop and there's also a one burner uh, propane cooktop. Now, 
the induction is actually removable. You can actually take it outside of the camper and use it outside. The heater itself is a Truma Combi. Now, once we move into the fixed style, what that allows us to do is we can experiment, not experiment, but we can just uh, utilize um, the chassis fuel for heating water and heating the cabin. So gone away will be that the whole propane system is completely eliminated then. Uh, you go with full-blown induction instead uh, for cooking your food. Um, another thing that gives you, you still get your under, under cabin boxes because it is fixed. So you'll still be able to get those just like you'd have on the tray. Uh, you get it, we give you a rear bumper, that sort of thing. So there's, there's quite a few things that you'll be able to get with the fixed that you wouldn't be able to get with the removable. Um, but again, it's, it's for two different lifestyles or two different customers. Some, if somebody needs to remove their camper occasionally, then the fixed removable is the route to go. If you're not planning on ever removing it, unless you're gonna move it to a different chassis, which is also possible, uh, you would go with the fixed style. So we're referring to it as a hybrid. Uh, it's, it, it gives you the hybrid of, of being able to do that, accommodate uh, the fixed and the fixed removable. But um, this floor plan is, as I said, I'll get back to the floor plan here. You got the, the uh, sort of the semi U-shape uh, dinette in the back here. I mean, it, it is plenty, plenty spacious. Um, battery storage directly underneath my feet here on this uh, on this false floor, and then of course you got some storage elements underneath the seats. The nice attraction about this one is that it's outside of the summit. It's the only one that we've got that has a full-blown wet bath in this thing. And you can order that wet bath with either a cartridge toilet or with the uh, wrap-on trekker. Uh, it's a waterless uh, uh, style toilet if, you, if you'd like. This particular one has got the trekker in it. So we're excited to uh, see how the owner likes that. I'm pretty confident they're going to be extremely pleased with it. Uh, this particular unit, because it's got the wet bath, it has also got a small gray tank. Uh, in-house as well so you got your 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 water tank and of course the gray tank uh, the specs for both of those are on our website I'll take a stab at it I think if my memory serves uh, 38 gallons on the fresh and I think we're about 12 gallons on the gray tank if I'm not mistaken standard is 164 liter fridge I mentioned the combi for for heating the cabin so it's multi-ducted uh, in the cabin here and it's also uh, the combi, of course, is the Truma combi is very efficient, also used for uh, heating the hot water as well. In the kitchen galley, I mentioned the single burner induction, which is removable. You can take it outside. And it's also got, in this case, the fixed removable has got the uh, propane. So it's got the propane, single burner propane as well. Uh, it's got a deep sink uh, with a J-handle faucet. So that, that's a nice feature uh, that you're not going to find in any of our uh, other units like the Hudson Bay or the Alpine uh, or the Backcountry. Uh, what else we got? Uh, of course, bamboo countertops, uh, tables, that sort of thing. i uh, got lots of windows. Uh, I've, I've had some people comment that maybe we could go with a bigger window in the back. Um, it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to accommodate. We've got, we got molly panels. We've got ladders on the back. So uh, we've gone with the, the biggest window that we were able to go with uh, for the very rear wall. But it's, uh, it does, you know, when you're sitting here, you're going to get a really nice uh, viewpoint. I'm looking out of the galley window. I can see out, I can see out that window, this window, and of course the window beside me here. So, and of course, if you had the <coughs> door open, you'd have the screen door and you've also got that for viewing uh, or, and, and or bringing air in. It's got some other elements that are, a little bit newer we moved some of the uh, the breaker switches up top got loads of uh, storage all the way around uh, you've got an optional in this, in this particular case you've got the optional microwave in the upper above the galley um, and new for this model is the uh, the LED uh, strip lighting so that strip lighting is back here in the galley and um, <clears throat> it's fantastic it's all dimmable as well so that's a really nice feature it's got some dimmable uh, LED lights on the outside as well uh, that you'll be able to see in, a, in an outside uh, video at another time over top of the bed uh, you've got uh, a, a very nice escape hatch it's it's marine hatch but you've got to have a, a means of escape 
uh, when you're building these when you're building these campers. So we've uh, gone with that. It's the same uh, marine hatch that you find in our summit. Um, you've also got uh, LED reading lights in there. Uh, you've got you've got standard is your is your second uh, fan over the bed uh, with blind shade as well. And uh, of course, it comes with an LED light on there as well. So, but um, storage, storage, and more storage. It it's got plenty. Forward of the cabin, we've got, as I mentioned before, we got the uh, underbed storage, and there is ample storage back there. I'll just get my butt out of the way. You're looking at about two and a half inches depth of storage. Again, we're trying to keep the weight down uh, with this camper. The the um, fixed removable with a tray uh, and with the east-west configuration we're targeting a one-ton chassis. Once you get up into the north-south queen like this one has and a few of the other things um, you might want to consider going to a chassis that's uh, that is larger than that. But, but with this one with this north-south as I mentioned before you got all sorts of storage running down both sides, it's on both the driver and the passenger side, and there is huge amounts of storage uh, in there. So, um, the galley features, as I mentioned before, the J handle, cutting board, a nice deep sink. It's about, I think it's an eight inch deep sink, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 164 liter fridge. Mentioned the dimmable lights already. Access panel for uh, ancillary equipment, i.e. water pump, full slide drawers, positive aluminum cast latches, just like all of our other builds. It's the same, it's the same type of uh, uh, materials that were chosen for the others that we're using in this one. Uh, inside the wet bath, you've got There's the Trekker toilet uh, that I mentioned, so the waterless toilet. That's in a cabinet that we actually fashion, built here ourselves. It's not something that came with the Trekker. Uh, you got the teak medicine cabinet, teak uh, floor in the wet bath. You got the side vent, the six inch uh, push out side vent, which is uh, uh, something new uh, that we're putting into the summits and also into this model here. That way we got more room on the room on the roof for solar. And of course, this one has two light switches. You got the one on the on the vent, and then you've also got the light here, just off the galley. It's a little softer light uh, for the toilet shower area. But nice. Um, you got wet gear you need to hang it up, that sort of thing. Uh, very easy to accomplish here. This is all. Uh, Victron powered. Uh, uh, it's a Victron powered unit. Uh, this particular unit has got two lithium iron uh, phosphate batteries, so he's got he's got ample power uh, for this particular unit. Um, Servo GX, Victron display up top here, and uh, solar. This particular unit is running 800 watts of solar on it. It's also got the rooftop AC, and it's located directly above the dinette. The dinette, of course, like all of our campers, folds down uh, to a quite, quite a nice size bed as well. I think if you've got any questions for us, as always, please give us a call. Uh, we're easy to find here at the factory or check out any one of our, our dealers across uh, Canada and the U.S. Thanks very much.